60k student loan debt. Flash two years later, flip life paid off the student debt. Kevin, you with the couch flipping? I started two years ago. Our first month, we made 10k. Let's go! <laughs> we're gonna the south of France. Spend a week out there. I like it out there. I like it. <laughs> yeah, we're there. Wow. I went on six dates in the same area for one night, and I only got caught once. No! Oh! Whoa. I think you got ripped off. <laughs> I, I, I know you made money. <laughs> I got it. Made it. Oh! Well, your wife's too hot for that. <laughs> <laughs> What's your Dunkin' Donuts order? It's a large ice caramel swirl, regular. One more, what was it? Good morning, you bad, beautiful bitches. You, we are back in studio, ladies and gentlemen. Holy hell. I feel like it's been forever. Yes, forever, forever, ever. Forever, ever. Peter Hurley, greatest <laughs> producer in the world, is back from LA. Hurley, welcome back. Great thank to have you, you back. You. Oh, my God. <laughs> Uh, some life updates for you, gang. Lots of life updates. Yeah. yeah. Uh, since we've last been here, we did a full rebrand. No Limits Podcast <laughs> is now The Cooney Show. Hello. So buckle up. Prepare to be dazzled. This episode will be all about life yeah. updates, all things babies and new home. Whoa. Ooh. Holy hell. A lot more Coonies, and by a lot more, I just want more really coming in. Mm. So uh, You've heard of just the two of us. What about just the three of us? I believe they say three is a crowd, so. Well, good, because we're about to have three more after this one. Okay. So, uh, well, let's start with the one, and then we'll see <laughs> how it goes. Let's go over to you, Mama. You're glowing over Thank there. You, you look great. Thank you. How do you feel? You are two weeks away from trimester number three of three, yep. not <laughs> formally known as the... My dumb ass, when's the fourth trimester? How do you feel? I feel um, good overall. This is actually something I was like talking about today. Like, yeah, my back feels like 18 wheelers just go over it all day long, mm -hmm. nonstop. Um, but I don't know. It's like the greatest chapter of life ever. And there's so many women who, you know, would do anything to even experience this pain. So, like, right. I love it. Like, Bring it on. Give, the, as long as she's healthy yeah. and happy and comfy in there, like, it's so temporary. Like, yeah. it's fine. Well, I'm glad you said that because you're, the only concerning thing to me is mm -hmm. your pregnancy brain oh. is, <laughs> it's alarming, honestly, at times. You are the smartest woman I, I know, mm -hmm. and I am what I consider, como se dice, one, you know, not the brightest. Uh, so I was kind of, I lean on you to be kind yeah. of our, nor you know, my my English teacher when it comes to spelling. You know, you read me books on Hooked on Phonics, my math, my calculator, you know. Yeah. And now that you kind of have my brain, the ditzy diddly diddly <laughs> brain, you know, it's interesting. We're both kind of, we're both kind of, you know. I have heard that postpartum brain is almost worse. Really? Yeah. That is alarming stuff here, guys. So I was actually explaining this to Kevin the other day because he, I must have said something or did something that was like extremely concerning. But like oftentimes when I'm quiet, he'll always be like, what's wrong? Like, what's on your mind? There's nothing on my mind. And you know, when you ask someone, like, oh, what do you think about it? They say nothing. Like, clearly something you're thinking about. No, no, no. There's nothing connecting in here. Like, he'll be like, what have you been thinking about for the past 10 minutes? And I'm like, absolutely nothing and it's like it feels hollow in there right. at all times right uh-huh well <laughs> me and you both sweetie so that's what's interesting <laughs> We're gonna, we'll figure out how to get through this together yeah uh, or like now too like the belly's getting so big that i'm like bumping into things mm. and she's just like this poor girl in here like yeah we were in a hotel room the other day I mean, a lot of hotel rooms, but one specifically. And I walked out, it was pitch black, and I just, like, rammed into a table. And I'm like, jeez. You're like a bull in a china shop in there. I know. Yeah, your belly, and I mean this in the most flattering way, you look thick. <laughs> She's a thick girl. Like, that is, uh... She's growing. You know, I know we just bought a house, but it's cool that our baby girl kind of has her own little mansion of her mansion. own you know Literally she's got mansion. some serious real estate in there i've had like a lot of people like just know obviously like everyone carries differently i was so petite to start with 120 pounds five foot one like there's not many places for this baby to go my pelvis is also rotated like we know why and everyone like is pretty much like knows that there was this one girl who was like i think your due date's wrong you should probably check in with your doctor and i'm like mm. Thanks, son. Um, so I have checked in with my doctor. 
Um, due date's not wrong. I'm just going, but she's actually measuring a week behind, which is like so funny how like I'm literally just giving her a mansion. Right. Yeah. Yeah. No, it is. I can feel it. Trust me. She's swimming. Oh, yeah. Around in there. Oh, yeah. So. It's a bounce house in there. Oh, yeah. Uh, speaking of your doctor, I love your team. Thank you. Let me put that out there. Great team. I did a video on this a while ago, but I'd love to dive deeper in it. Mm. Uh, as a man in the OB, mm-hmm. which stands for what, by the way? Obstetrician. God bless you. Okay. Yeah. I thought that was for... Uh, like OBGYN is obs- obstetric. I literally thought... Gynecology. But the way I was treated in there, since no one talks to men in there, I was like, oh, OB must stand for we only hate only boys. See, so we hate. You know, there's in right. fine print, you zoom in. Yeah, I just think, like, you do so much. I you helped. Do, you helped. But the, the doctor will walk in, and for those <laughs> that haven't experienced it, it's crazy. Yeah. Ash is sitting there on her, like, wax paper as if we're going to make, like, sugar cookies. <laughs> Up there looking like a snack of her own. Doctor walks in. <laughs> no, no, normally you, like, greet the room. Mm-hmm. She checks in with Ash. Uh... You know, doesn't I'm kind of like you know me, very golden retriever. So yeah. I'm kind of like wagging my tail, like oh, as, as soon as the corner of her eye looks at me, I'll be hi, how's it going? Never looks at me. Yeah, turns to me eventually and goes as she's like putting Purell in her hands. She's like Ugh, I'm about to touch this <laughs> disgusting boy. And who is this? I was like, uh, the father. <laughs> I think. <laughs> I think. And then it's yeah. two seconds of that, and then it's back to Ashley. And th- at the one point, the nurse, her OB, is that the right you say OB? Mm-hmm. Her OB to Ashley's like, can I get you anything? And I was like, I- I'll take a vodka soda, I guess, <laughs> if we're, <laughs> you know, there's no, yeah. they don't even look your way. I was, yeah, I will say that. Like, I, I obviously get like, I'm the patient that they have for me, but so many women bring a family member or a significant other or something. And, like, it is crazy how, like... You get treated as They if, won't even look at... Like, they won't even be like, hi, to you. Right. Like... You know what it is? You get... I, as a man in the OB, get treated as if what I did to you was bad. <laughs> Which, don't get me... Hey, don't get me wrong. It was downright bad. <laughs> oh, we were so bad. We're so bad. Oh. <laughs> you know? No, I know. It is if it's a crime. I, yeah. If I brought my mom, like, they'd probably actually be just as polite to her. Right. Yeah. They no, I agree. See, and then it puts me in a panic because maybe I'm like, am I wearing a shirt that says like, fuck you? On it? <laughs> like, it's insane. No, yeah. No. But you're glowing we'll nonetheless. Thank you so much. You look great. Baby is in good health. We are T minus. Like 14 weeks. 14 weeks till you become a mother. Mm-hmm. I wow. mean, she could come early. Hopefully not mm. too early, but I'm just saying it could be less than 14 weeks. Yeah. Uh, other big news since we've last chatted with you all. You want to break it to him? We purchased a home. Holy hell. Homeowners. How crazy. This has been American a long, dream. Yeah. <laughs> and or nightmare. We don't know yet. <laughs> this has been a long time coming. We've shared a little bit about the house search, but not much with you guys. Because um, we were looking for fun. I'd say yeah. we started about two years ago. Mm-hmm. And I'd say probably about a year ago is when we started like being serious. And then the second I peed on that stick, we were like, mm. oh, no, no, no. Shit. We need this now. Right. Um, so, yeah, it's it's weird that it, like, it still doesn't feel real yet. Ashley and I, literally for the last two years, every Saturday and Sunday would leave Boston, mm-hmm. grab our dunks. We would head out of the city and we mm-hmm. would search every town in, uh, surrounding the city. Yeah. And we, we went to countless open homes. We knocked off a lot of towns too. That knocked like, off a lot of towns. Yeah. We were like yucky. Maybe that's a whole segment. Not on this. Not on this episode. We should yeah. do like a uh, a yuck or muck. What's good or bad? It's bye or bye. Boom or bust. Boom or doom. I believe they Costco guys said. Yeah. Uh, we should do that on towns. Yeah. You know. I think for us, like, and I'm sure everyone buying a house, like, or just finding a place to live, like, there's like things you like definitely need and things that you know, are, like, yeah, it's all right. Mm-hmm. And for a lot of the towns that we were like, absolutely not. It just didn't have anything as to what we wanted. A lot of it was like privacy, like certain areas mm-hmm. that we looked at that were like very wealthy. What's the fans. school system like? Yeah, school system, obviously. But I know like there's towns that people would be like, what do you mean you didn't like that? And we'd be like, there's just like. No soul to it. Like it, it was almost like living on a beach. There's no water, but like a beach 
which is like house's place. So like everyone just like could like you were in like a I. You know, it's like that. I don't know. Again, my brain. But Literally, the most fun in this whole pregnancy is when Ashley tells stories like this. I get to watch her kind of her brain scramble. I panic and I'm like, I have to finish this. Your brain this. in there. I'm imagining your brain in conscious. It's like a game of Pictionary where they used to just sit next to each other and communicate and talk, and you would speak very elegantly. And now they're like, picture on the forehead, and your brain's like, it's full panic. Uh, yeah, it's so panicky. Daffy Duck. <laughs> Then it cuts. Your conscious is doing like another motion to like describe the scene. You're like, I've had to stop making litter. notes on my coat, on my coat, on my. Also, that happens. You just say random words that you don't mean. Put the notes on my they coat. They don't buy it correctly. Um, I've had to stop putting notes on my phone for things I need to like buy mm. at the store because like I walked into Sephora the other day. I had a whole list of things I needed, and I stood there, and the lady was like, "Can you? Can I help you find anything?" And I was like, "I need a lot of things. Start, I can't think of one." You start. She asks, "You need to help." You just start speaking. Fluent Japanese <laughs> out of nowhere. Oh, and that's like you. Like you have a <laughs> note and a timer for everything. I do. And I'm gonna have to start doing that. Yeah, welcome to my world. Yeah, I bought one thing at Sephora and I got home and I was like, that's what I needed mm. when I went to go grab it and it wasn't there. Yep. Uh, big debate. So we oh, won't yeah. officially move until probably December because we're gonna yeah. do some renovations. Mm-hmm. We'll rip up some carpeting, put in some hard wood. Here's where we need maybe their help. Honestly, maybe we do like a co- like comment below on what you should think. I, I already know what I want. See, Ash, we're gonna put hard wood. Or I already know what we're doing. Mm, I don't. I wouldn't be so confident there. We're gonna put hard wood all over the house. Yep. Ashy wants light wood. I want dark wood. So we're doing light know? wood. So that's but I do have where... an idea. So what we can do? Whoa, 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 whoa! Did you just? Idea with an R. Is Honey, that what you just said? As a hard for people in Boston, okay? Well, you're I you want to do what with clam chowder? What did you what was that? No, I'm saying as a hard, just like let me be, okay? Okay. Things that here that the Boston you'll add R's to things that don't have R's, idea pizza, and then you'll <laughs> take R's out <laughs> like hard wood. Make it make sense, Harvard. Anywho, back to you, volley for serve. She really wants light florin. I really want dark florin. So we're and we're pretty florin. torn. <laughs> Honestly, we are. We have, we have. We're pretty torn here. I mean, she no, wants, we're like, not really torn, light. But... I want really dark. Yeah. They both do look good. I think it's more like what the look we're going for is. Um, and I will say she's a great salesman because she started showing me her Pinterest of light stuff, light florin. And I was like. Mm, I do look good. Yeah, but so. I do think we should like show them pitches. I agree, and just see what they what yeah, maybe their we bring ideas it down are. To a vote. We're still going to do light floors, but um, we'll. <laughs> honestly, though, the consumer has like some of the best ideas. <laughs> they do. No, honestly, they do, like, and they could tell us something could that be, we didn't even. Yeah, know. maybe it's something we're not even thinking of that would be yeah. cool to put out there. So maybe that's what we do. We should go up. Uh, we're going up later today, actually, literally right after this. Mm-hmm. So maybe we'll do some videos up there of of flooring needs, huh? And then who knows? Maybe we maybe we do an episode at the house at some point. And if you know a florist, why aren't flower? Why are flower people called fla- florists? Why aren't floor people called florists? Is that the pregnancy brain again? No, no, I think you're right. Oh, okay, cool. Florist, right? Florist you're is a, a florist. Yeah. Hey Siri, call mom. <laughs> why? Because I'm scared and I want her to pick me up. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think you had that right. Florist. Anywho, we'll figure it out, gang. Pregnancy brain is rampant, huh? What are you most excited for about this house? I, uh, I'm excited to have some land. So we have yeah. 3.2 acres of land, which would be cool. Which is crazy. It's interesting going from, we had a great apartment, but going from, you know, 700 square feet to like a couple thousand square feet, also very cool. It's crazy. Just like the difference between like city and suburb, like yeah, city, our entire apartment complex. Is that even on an acre? Uh, great question. I honestly don't even right. know. Right. And there's like thousands potentially of people who live in this complex right right so isn't it like just so crazy True, the difference yeah. like it's such because i only know boston mm-hmm. my house in eastie like which is a gorgeous house mind you mm-hmm. it's very different than a lot of people in like eastie but what what do you think am i even on a quarter acre uh you're probably on you're uh, maybe a maybe less fifth. yeah like See, but that's, that's refractions for my little brain can't even i'm like yeah what, whatever you know 
seven sixteenths <laughs> of an eighth is a quarter. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's just it's it's such it's going to be so different. Like you're saying, like you're so excited for space, and like you grew yeah. up with land. And Are you ends. nervous? So when you drive where to where we're living, it's dark. Yeah. There's no street lights. Yeah. Are you nervous at all coming from the city? Like, you're born and raised in East Boston, where literally, like, the edge of the runway at Logan Airport is your living room. It lights up our house. Literally. The first yeah. time I went over to Ashley's house, I was like, what's that bright light? <laughs> what is that shimmer over there on the Michael's horizon? like, all right, yeah. all right. <laughs> yeah, you go to the bathroom, it's TSA pre-check. <laughs> you're like, whoa. Um, uh, like, are you nervous to be kind of in the sticks? I... Well, we like left the other night and I was like, we walked out the back yard to like go around and it was pitch black. You like couldn't see two feet in front of you. Right. And like you're on still your land. So it's like scary. Um, it's going to be a huge adjustment. I think what is blowing my mind most, I was like, remember I was asking, I was like, so do y'all just like trick or treat earlier up here? And you're like, no, you do it in oh, the no. dark. And I'm like. Your eyes will get used to it though. Yeah, no, I'm sure it will. Because you said, like, once you moved down to the city, it was such an adjustment. Even me going in that area now, I'm like, whoa. Yeah. I'm like, I need, like, a lantern. But it's funny. No, like, literally, can we get one, though? That (laughs) would actually be a huge help. Um, It's funny, though, like, since we've kind of posted, you know, we're not sharing location or anything, but from pictures, you can obviously tell we're not in Mm. the North End anymore. Mm Mm-hmm. Um, and so many people are just so shocked that, like, even me specifically, like, I'm leaving. I've never left. I've been born here. And I am so excited. And I, it's going to be such a big, big change. Mm-hmm. And it was honestly something that I never even imagined my whole life. Because, like, when you grow up here, you stay here. And Boston's beautiful. Obviously, like, everyone's moving here. And it's great. But once I, like, kind of saw a lifestyle that I can have up there and still be so close to the city. Right. It's, like, I'm so excited for, like, the easiness. Like, I remember when you moved into Boston, you were so excited for, you said, Boston's so convenient. Mm -hmm. You're, like, you can walk to the grocery store. No, that's so inconvenient. Yeah, nothing like doing farmer's carries for three blocks. Right, and you're, like, then you have to pick, like, when I was at Market Basket the other day, not Market Basket, Saw Market, I wanted to get, (laughs) I know that would stop. Which, what, uh, (laughs) now you knew knew Paul Revere personally? (laughs) Is that, what was the first one? But I wanted to get, I forget what it was, but I wanted to get something. But I was like, honestly, everything I already got is filling up two bags. I can't carry that much. It's yeah. like a block and a half down the road, which doesn't seem like much, but it's a lot with yeah. groceries. Oh, it's milk. We're almost out of milk. Uh, Couldn't sorry. get milk. So sorry. No cereal. Whereas like, and then there's traffic. If you have to drive anywhere at all hours, mm-hmm. like after like three, now it's like 3 p.m. You're stuck in your apartment or else you deal with it. Right. Whereas where we're moving, like I can just jump in the car, you know, at 6.30 p.m. on a Friday. And get to the grocery store in like yeah, you five can read minutes. A bit more. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm like so excited for that. Like that's actually way more convenient. Yeah. It might be a little bit further, but like the hassle of it. Yeah, totally. You know what I'm excited for? Which we're actually gonna film right after this today. <laughs> it is Ashley's first time ever in life pulling her car into our garage. Yep. I've never pulled into a garage. I pulled Risky into a driveway. Business. Just purchased the house. Ashley's first time pulling in the garage, high stake stuff. This is, it's either gonna be really bad for your car or the house. Yeah. Someone's gonna get hurt. But I think it's wild. What we should do is because it's cement. Right. Yeah, we should put like rubber matting. Okay. So if I, by accident, I step on the, like, the accelerator while reversing. Oh, yeah. I got a pad. No. If no? you step on the accelerator by accident while reversing into the garage, You'd be in the kitchen. It's not like uh, I can bring. We like do want to demo that. I can bring my gymnastics mat. <laughs> <laughs> this will stop your explorer, right? No, your Ford Explorer wants to explore into the other rooms. Okay, it's actually an expedition, a little bit bigger. Okay, Let's see this. But we, just... I mean, we do want to redo the kitchen. So if you need me to do that, let me know. Could be <laughs> easy. <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs> okay, good <laughs> God. But you already have sticking in the yard. Yeah. Yeah, that's the problem. Well, here's the problem. I'm glad you brought that up. Here's the problem with having adult money. I'm 29, but really 11 years old mentally, developed mentally. <laughs> uh, so we buy this house. I'm rip sticking in through the house, through the family room, through the hallways. And I was like dying laughing because I was like, what's my mom going to ground me? What am I going to ground myself? 
Well, you know? Like, even when we were pulling there's in the no other rules. day. Yeah. You're like, I just want to drive up on the grass. I was like, there's a driveway right there. I right? almost did that. Yeah. We're driving up, and the front yard has kind of a, a fairly good-sized hill in front of it. And I was like, how cool is this? I could just take my truck and drive right up that if I wanted to. Was my dad going to yell at me? No, but now you, know? you have to deal with it, and your money has to deal with it. You're like, why are you sitting on the second step? And I'm like, I'm in, I'm in timeout. <laughs> put yourself in I put myself in timeout. I can't believe I did that. And I will eat what you cook because that's what we're eating, you know? Those are the rules in our house. Well, yeah, obviously. You need to get like a separate dinner. No. You know, if you want like a fluff and utter, it's like you'll have the meatloaf because it's what your mother prepared. Yeah. I also love like that. I mean, that's a whole episode about parenting. But when I see people like, they're like, you can't send the kid to bed hungry. And I'm like, yeah, you can. I did. I don't want to eat my meal. And you turned out. Just fine. Just kidding. My parents never sent me to bed hungry, but... We're all your Italian. That'd be impossible. Let's right. be real. There's chicken cutlets <laughs> under your pillow. <laughs> but, I mean, it was true. We didn't get, like, options. Right. <laughs> right. I didn't purposely cook us things we hated. But. Right. Right. Oh, pasta again. Oh, so Louise good. Louise. <laughs> well, you're glowing. Thank you. We are so happy that Hurley is back in town. We are so happy to be back in studio on a regular basis. Uh, Hurley, this new graphic, I've been looking at the whole show. You crushed this. Thank you. Thank you. Unbelievable. Uh, good to be back. Any uh, any closing questions or remarks? For I'm the... just so excited for this next chapter. Yeah, yeah, a lot of cool stuff coming. A lot of cool stuff coming. Uh, if you like this episode, go ahead and share it with your besties. <laughs> okay, be a friend. Tell a friend there. Go ahead and like and subscribe. We are offered on all platforms. Hello. Leave a review, good or bad, you know? Preferably good. good. Yeah. But if it's bad, I want to see it too. All right? Hugs and kisses, gang. This is... The Cooney Show. Whoa! Hello! Hello!